Hi, my name is Amit Schulman. I'm a solution engineer at OpsWatt. Today I'm going to show you how MetaDefender data sanitization can help you prevent unknown threats embedded in files. Before I begin the demo, I will uh, just give you a brief explanation of how data sanitization works. Data sanitization, which also known as content disarm and reconstruction, uh, removes any possible embedded threats from files such as scripts and macros, and then rebuilds each file ensuring full usability with safe content. In this way, even threats that are not detected by sandboxes and anti-malware engines will safely be removed. In this diagram, you can see the three steps of the data sanitization process. Now I will show you how data sanitization works. For this example, I'm going to use a few files. Um, first one is this uh, PDF file. So what happens is as soon as I open this file, a JavaScript will try to copy a Word document uh, to my system and open it. As soon as I enable the uh, content on this Word document, a VBA runs and <clears throat> what it tries to do is basically copy an ICAR uh, antivirus test file to my system. So once it does that, you can see my local antivirus uh, flagging the file and quarantining it. So let's uh, scan the file and sanitize it using my email workflow, which is set to sanitize any uh, supported file type. So first of all, we can see that 13 out of 20 scan engines actually detected the, the ICAR um, test file in the Word document. Let's go ahead and download um, the sanitized copy. And I open the file and we can just uh, see the plain text. So we simply remove the Word document um, from the PDF file. We can also go ahead and uh, scan the sanitized file. You can see we're getting a clean result. So for the second example, um, I, I will use this um, image that I have here. So first of all, you can open it and we see uh, just a plain image. Um, the thing about this image is that uh, there's a hidden archive with a file in that archive. So once I change the file type to zip, I can actually go ahead and open this archive with a file in it. Changing the file type back and I can open the image and, and view it again. So I'm going to scan the file again and sanitize it. Now, here's the interesting thing. There is no malware in that image, but it is a known method to hide files in, in multi-stage attacks and so on, to hide configuration files and, and uh, et cetera. So, no malware is detected, but we can go ahead and download um, the sanitized file. And let's try to do the same thing. So first of all, I'll open the image and we can view the same image. So let's change it back to uh, zip format and I'll try to open it. And we're getting a message that this is an unknown format um, because the archive was actually removed from this uh, JPEG file. So the last example I'm going to show you is also for a Word document with a VBA. Um, and what this VBA is going to do is actually delete this file that's on my system. So you can see the file is removed and I'm going to go ahead and open my VBA, my VBA console. We can see the model here and this is what the script looks like. 
So I'm going to recreate this file very quick and we're going to sanitize this file as well. Now, first of all, you can see that Meta Defender Core treats this file as an archive, so we actually extract the internal components and scan, uh, scan these components as well. So again, this file comes back as a clean file. Um, let's download this file and let's do the same thing. Let's open it, enable the active content. And see that nothing happens. Let's take another look and we can see the model and the script uh, was completely removed from this Word document. If you have any more questions or if you would like to try our technology, um, please feel free to contact us at sales at opswat.com. Thank you for watching.